Hi, I'm Maral. If you love cinema and movie, this is your channel. So don't go anywhere. Be with me and subscribe me. Hi guys, I want to talk about poor things. So thanks to be with me and thanks to subscribe me. Poor things is a 2023 science fantasy black comedy film directed by Yorgos Lantimos. Yeah, a good director. And written by Tony McNamara. It is based on the uh, 1992 novel by Alastair Gray. The film stars Emma Stone, Mark Ruffalo, William Defoe, Rami, Youssef, Christopher, Abbott. Its plot focuses on Bella Baxter, a young Victorian woman who, after being crudely resurrected by a scientist following her suicide, runs off with a debauched lawyer to embark on an odyssey of self discovery and sexual liberation. Lantimos's last film is a different story. It's less vicious than his other work, more tender and approachable. Okay, did you see his other work, his other films, such as The Lobster or The Favorite or The Doctors? I can't even think about The Doctors, but it's so beautiful and it's hard to see. Okay. Poor things. It has plenty of the bizarre visual filler Lantimus cut his teeth on, from his signature extreme wide angles up to and including a ball dog with the head of a dog flourishing um, through a grand living room. Yet, poor things is joyous in its weirdness joyous in its exploration and a celebration of its strange strange world this movie is incredibly fun to watch mostly that's because of emma stone reuniting here with lantimus after she was oscar nominated for her work in the favorite in Poor Things, Stone is doing some of the best work of her career as Bella Baxter, a grown woman with the brain of an infant. This is a very physical, very grounded performance. Stone has a terrific fuck, just a touch of Frankenstein jerkiness showing as Bella tries to control limbs she isn't used to. Head always on a Suival as she tries to take in more and more of the ever fascinating brand new world. Face with something she doesn't care for. She glares her giant eyes up from under dyed black beetled browns and then usually punches it. Bella lives with her guardian, Dr. Godwin Baxter. She calls him God. Godwin is an experimental surgeon working at the very limits of a steampunk 19th century science, and he himself is the product of endless sadistic science experiments at his father's hand. Bella likes him to crawl into her bed at night, but he assures his worried assistant that there's nothing untoward going on there. For one thing, he's impotent after his father's experiments. For another thing, he considers Bella to be his daughter. Okay, guys, I think this movie is one of the best and most different movies of Lantimus. Although we have seen his dark comedy movie before don't forget the favorite what do you think about the movie can you tell me i want to know that thanks to be with me and don't forget subscribe me.